Hi guys! Welcome sa Ziplaya. In this video ay magkadidiscuss ako ng something na medyo napapanahon. No? Yung topic natin ngayon napapanahon, yung loto. No? Um, loto. Especially yung 658 dahil ngayon na uh, as of this recording, parang umabot na yata ng 1 billion yung uh, premium. No? So 1 billion. Okay, so I think uh, yung 1 billion hindi natin yan kayang i-spend no? sa lifetime natin. Uh, unless nabibili tayo ng uh, malalaking kumpanya siguro. No? Uh, saka lang natin yan magagastos. But uh, if we spend every day, mukhang hindi natin yan magagastos lahat. Now question, ano kaya ang number of combinations para masigurado natin na ang number of combinations sa kailangan natin tayaan para um, masigurado yung panalo natin sa loto. No? So, ang isang combination ay uh, anim na numbers from uh, 58. No? So, ano ba? Uh, 3, uh, 10, 17, 38, 42, 51. So, that's one combination. And one combination is one ticket. No? So, for example, another combination would be 11, 16, 25, 32, 40, 56. So another combination yan, another ticket. No? So basically, if we ask the number of combinations na ng anim na numero from 58, it's the same as asking ilang ticket ba yung bibili namin para sigurado kaming manalo. No? So yun yung... Uh, Yun yung tanong, no? O ilan ba yung ticket na dapat nating bilhin no? to, to surely win? No? Now, uh, 58, that's 58 objects, no? Taken 6 at a time. So yun actually yung tinatanong natin pag-uusapan pag natin yung mathematics. And this is a combination, no? A uh, combination of 58 objects taken 6 at a time no? um, meron tayong formula dyan which is uh, n factorial no? over n minus r factorial times r factorial now hindi ko may explain tong formula na ito dito kung saan ito nang galing no? uh, we'll have a separate uh, tutorial about this no? but I think, ang masasabi ko na sa inyo is ibig sabihin ng factorial. No? Pag sinabi natin yung 3 factorial, it means 3 times 2 times 1. No? Pag sinabi mong 5 factorial, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So this is 6 and this is, I think this is 120. No? So this is 120. Now, um, dito ang n natin ay 58 at yung r natin ay 6. No? So, Substituting, we have 58CR, no? or C6, kasi ang R natin ay 6. So this is equal to 58 factorial over uh, 58 minus 6 factorial times 6 factorial, which is equal to 58 factorial over 52 factorial times 6 factorial. Now, alam natin that 58 factorial is the product of all the numbers, uh, 58 and all the numbers uh, below it, the integers below it, all the way down to 1. So, 58 times 57 times 56 times 53, or times 55 times 54 times 53 and so on. No? So, um, Pwede natin ilagay, you know, 58 times 57 times 56 times 55 times 54 times 53 times 52, 51 and so on. 51, 50, 49 and so on. Hanggang 1 yan. But the product of 52 and all the integers below it up to 1 is just 52 factorial. You know? Now, ginawa natin yan kasi may 52 factorial tayo sa baba. Ibig sabihin, pwede tayong cancel, no? So this is 52 factorial, tapos another 6 factorial. 
So, pwede na natin i-cancel yung 52 factorial. Ang matitira is 58 times 57 times 56 times 55 times 54 times 53 all over yung 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 okay na pag ginumpute nyo yan uh, you get the product of the numerator and then you get the product of the denominator and then you divide no? pero hindi ko na kayo I'll spare you from that ordeal no um, I'll give you the answer. No? The answer is 40 million, uh, 475,358. No? So, ito yung number of, actually, this is the number of tickets na kailangan yung bilhin. No? So, magkano yan? 24 pesos ang isang ticket. No? Nag-research na ako dyan and uh, the product of uh, these two numbers uh, kinumpute ko na rin ahead, no? Kasi mahaba siya. So, 971,408,000 592. Okay? So, yan yung ating ano-ano uh, itong number na ito? This is the, the money that we will spend, no? That you need to spend to, to buy 40 million tickets. 40 plus million tickets para masigurado natin yung panalo. Ngayon, kung rin meron tayong pera, no? assuming na meron tayong pera, uh, hindi pa rin tayo natatapos sa problema natin kasi unang-una, ang 40 million tickets na pakarami niyan, una, kailangan may mapagkukahanan ka niyan. No? Pangalawa, no? you have to be sure that the combinations will not uh, duplicate. No? So, 40 million combinations, if we said 40 million tickets na bibihin natin, and fill up pag fill out tayo dun isa-isa no and syempre kailangan mo na maraming tao so you have to hire people and make sure na yung mga fill out nila na ticket ay hindi nagdo-double yung nang parehong-pareho yung numbers kasi otherwise pag may na miss kayo na isa at yun ang na, 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 na combination na nanalo wala kayong makukuha zero no at it's, uh, sayang tong 971 uh, million. Now, assuming, assuming na kaya nyo mag-fill out nito, na meron kayong ticket, meron kayo way uh, to trace the the numbers, no? Wari, gamit kayo ng computers, i-generate nyo lahat ng possible combination. Pwede naman yun, theoretically. Ang um, problema mo, no? Wari, uh, nabili mo na nakapag-fill out ka, ang gagastusin mo, of course, is 971 million plus yung mga bayad mo sa tao na mag-fill out nito, no? Yung tataya siguro, babayaran mo rin yan, di ba? Pupunta sila sa loto at ilagay nila doon. No? Or, uh, so, assuming na ito na lang, assuming na free lahat yan, uh, sigurado naman tayo na mananalo tayo. Oo naman, sigurado tayo. Pero ang isang problema mo, if uh, dalawa kayo nanalo, kasi 1, 1 billion yung uh, price. Eh. So actually, pwede ka pa manalo pag ikaw lang nag isa mag ang nag-iisang panalo, no? Pero kung dalawa kayo nanalo, take 500 million na lang kayo. Minus the tax. So, lugi ka nang Ang ginastos mo ay 971 million. Ang mapapanalunan mo lang ay 500 million minus the tax. No? Mabuti yun kung dalawa lang kayo nanalo. Pero kung halimbawa apat or lima kayo, lim lima or apat kayong maghahati doon sa premium. I think that's the rule. I, I don't know if I'm mistaken, but I think that's the rule. Pag dalawa na nalo, hati. No? Okay, so, yung pinakalas na tanong, bakit? Kung napakahirap manalo ng loto, bakit? Ang ah, madalas may nananalo. No? That, that's a very good question. No? Maraming nananalo kasi ang daming tumataya. For example, out of 40 million na ito, halimbawa 20 million na Filipinos tumataya. Or ang, ang another way to look at it is, merong 20 million na nabentang tickets na magkakaiba. No? Unique. So, wala, walang magkakapareho dyan na combinations. So, that's already 20 million out of 40 million. Around 50% of um, the 40, around 50% ng probability. No? So, halos one half. No? Parang every other day may mananalo. No? Theoretically. 
Okay, so sana no ay naliwanagan kayo ng konti dito sa the mystery of Lotto, no? yung uh, the mathematics of Lotto. At sana meron kayo natutunan sa ating uh, uh, discussion. Okay, maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next tutorial.